Well, good morning. Got a small break here from Bounty Hunter Breaks. I was driving around after breakfast and found these at Walmart and just couldn't pass it up even though I know it's retail and stuff and it's non-sport, but I've collected this for decades, so I figured what the heck, it's $10 a box, actually $9.98. I think it is at Walmart. But anyway, it's kind of interesting the fact that they, instead of it being a $20 blaster box, it's a $10 blaster box. But given the fact that it's only $10, instead of getting, we'll say, 10 packs, you're getting five packs plus three exclusive cards. So, yeah, it's a big deal. 33 total cards. So, there you got. The Knights of Wren and Wren and a Sith Trooper. And then there's your odds in the box. So yeah, so we'll get to ripping. And of course it shows there five packs plus three exclusive cards, six pack cards per pack for the 33 total cards. So I don't expect much out of this considering it's retail, but I just had to get a get my eyes on it just to see how this compares to the rehash stuff that they've done every time for each new movie with their journey to the new movie which typically just copies the design of the original 77 tops star wars series one so here we go, pack one. Snap Wexley's X-Wing. Lando Calrissian. Oh, we got a purple. Right off the get-go. A First Order Snow Trooper. Then a... R6 LES and our purple parallel is Janna, the new character. But it's not numbered. So the purples are not numbered. And then we have, looks like an artist card or artwork card, sorry, or sticker. Collect all the, just says, Ships and vehicle cards. So, again, like a subset. Pack two. First order conference room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lando's transport. Treadable. And um, there's Carrie Fisher's daughter, Cato Co. Connix. So they're giving her a complete name now. Poe Dameron, a green parallel, the forest of Ajan Kloss. And again, those are not numbered either. And then what do we got here? May the force be with you. It doesn't tell you anything other than it's just a creature. Pack three. Remnants of the Death Star on one of the moons of Endor. Commander Darcy's speech. Zori Bliss, and then Commander Darcy, and then a blue b parallel balance or glances of doubt, and again, not numbered. And then a new tie, the Sith TIE Fighter, kind of crazy the design of it. Pack 
four. Millennium Falcon Cockpit. Bestoon Legacy. Fight off Davin Spawn. I can't. Is that Karu? Must be Karu. I don't think it's Karad. And then a green parallel, Resistance United. And a little follow, followers of the dark side. Crush the resistance, so the propaganda. I guess that's just listed as a crush the resistance card. So here we go into pack five. Get another purple. Got two purples. Transport skimmer. Vic Rule, one of the Knights of Ren. Officer Vade Bloodfiddle. Got a 3PO. Oh, that one's numbered. 161 of 199. Interesting. And then we got a purple Kylo Ren, which is not numbered. And then we got Pose X Wing. And let's see what this special bonus content is all about. So, what's our bonus three cards? They're all some sort of reddish. Orange parallel, the Night Buzzard, so the Knights of Ren's transport, Kylo Ren on the move, and then Festival of the Ancestors. So again, just a complete parallel pack. So everything in it is just a parallel, color parallel. But we'll go on to the box too. So if you if you have seen or haven't seen the new film and stuff, you know, if you if you haven't seen it, this has probably got some spoilers seeing images from the film, but If you have seen it, you'll recognize what's going on. But all in all, I think it's far better than the, the previous film that they did, uh, which kind of really just shattered everything that you'd, if you were a fan of it. Finn and Janna. Vaporators. Oh, that should be evaporators. It should be evaporators in the desert. Moisture evaporators. C-3PO. Chewbacca. The Sith Jet Trooper. And then Sith TIE Fighter again. So that's a duplicate already. <laughs> Out of six packs. <laughs> Pretty insane. First order hallway. Dark Ray. Hux. Lieutenant Tice. The Tread Speeder. And a BB-8. Resistance forever. Long live the rebellion. So this is the Long Live the Resistance insert set. So we got a First Order TIE Fighter, the Night Buzzard, BB-8, 
first order commando. And I got a blue dark side of Ray, not numbered. And then a 3PO carrying Chewbacca's bowcaster, Ray's staff, and it looks like her bag. Cat 4. Kylo Ren on the move, so again, another duplicate. Festival of the Ancestors duplicate. Ashar, or Ushar, possibly how it's pronounced. The UATT Walker, looks a little bit like EV209 from the old Robocop movie. Ray's quick catch when she's training. And a BB-8 sticker. And there's 19 stickers, so out of two boxes, you get one sticker. The last pack before the exclusive bonus content pack. Improvised hanger on a Jean Kloss. Spice Runner's Den. First Order Stormtrooper. Neenum. That must be one of the last Knights of Ren. Aplek. Not numbered. And then finally. Poe Dameron's X-Wing again. So I should take that sticker because that's the only one sticker I've got. Like I say, you got the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter duplicate. So we'll sleeve up BB-8 sticker. And our final pack, our bonus content pack. Steadfast Main Bridge. Lieutenant Tice takes a moment. And our final card. That's kind of cool looking with the... Oh, that's numbered. 133 of 149, Power of the Dark Side. So again, I wouldn't really say we got much of a hit recap, but at least it's nice to know that you can get parallels and stuff out of the bonus content pack. It's not just all parallels, but so see where did he go so yeah so you got the bb8 sticker your power of the dark side so the crush the resistance card and it's a red parallel numbered to 149 i have the 3po purple border character card and, and it's referred to as illustrated character card and that's round number 199 and then I guess we'll sort these out real quick so that way kind of go so it looks like the blues are less common but the purples are purples and greens are probably roughly the same as far as common. So the thing is, which is weird because the thing is, this is purple and numbered. This is purple and not numbered. So yeah. So anyway, so we got Aplek, a Sith jet trooper, Kylo Ren, Janna, and then the greens. The Forest of Ajon Kloss, 
the resistance united, raise quick catch, and the tread speeder. And then we got one blue per box, dark side array, and glances of doubt. And that's pretty much at the climactic scene towards the end. So yeah, so that kind of concludes that. Uh, again, I didn't expect to see much out of it. And I wasn't disappointed. But yeah, I guess that's the only downside is in two boxes, you get two duplicates. And I don't know about the base cards if there was duplicates there too, but it's like I got two Sith TIE Fighters and two Poe Dameron X-Wings. And then an illustrated 3PO, the BB-8 Resistance, another Resistance card, Dark Side, and then Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter. So yeah, that's it for that. Hope you liked it. If not, well, I guess you just would, won't be buying any, but have a great rest of your day and keep collecting.